Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my farmer wife, Laura. I'm here with my trucking husband, Nathan. And we're here for yet another opening of the Woolworth Bricks Farm Edition. Yes, it's our second opening. Uh, if you didn't see, you might want to go and check out number one first because we built our homestead or, or farm kind of it's base here. set. And we've started putting our like, uh, farm-related things on there. We have. We've got a few there already, but if you want to see all of that happening, go back and check out video number one. So this video, we have 20 of the uh, individual sort of brick packs to open. Yes, we do. And a couple of the sets that you could purchase. We have the animal set mm -hmm. and we have the farm truck. Yes. Not a truck. It's a farm truck. Our farmer needs a farm, not a, a, a truck. Well, he needs a farm too, but a farmer needs a truck. Doesn't he also need we a, don't have a farmer yet. Doesn't he also need a wife? Oh, oh wait, wrong thing, sorry. <laughs> That's a TV show. If you're watching from somewhere that maybe doesn't have that, it's a, it's a television show. So anyway, right. if you haven't seen the first one, you get one of these for every $30 you spend. You get At Woolworths in Australia. You get bonuses depending on what certain products you buy. Yes. And that's pretty much it. That's Thank you to those it. who are keeping these for us. No, this is not a reflection of how much money we've spent on our groceries. All right. Um, do you want me to tackle the farm truck first? Yes, I do. So do you want to grab that out? I have it. I pass you all these on this side. Okay. Um, so obviously today we, uh, we have 20. I don't know whether you mentioned. I can't remember. Uh, um, we are looking for, well, hopefully some of the ones we didn't find last time. Um, we had a few doubles last time of the vegetable mix in particular. Like four or five of them or something? <laughs> yeah, so maybe not those this time would be great. Let's bring right, it down so a little. Here. I'm going to sort of build a little off camera here just while Laura's opening up a couple. Okay, and I'm going to, ooh, we have something different. I was going to say, I'm going to open the first one. So it's already open. These are compatible with other leading brands. <coughs> Lego. Yes. Um, the quality isn't too bad. Probably not quite as good as Lego. Oh, no, 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 no. no but I mean, they're not too expensive overall, so. No. All right, I'll get building. All right, and I have a tree. Uh, so, again, if you didn't see, there are 40 different things you can collect. I We, we didn't even come close to getting, like, half no. of them last time. So we've still got some work to do. Right, let's get that out of the way. We have Looks the like avocado tree. tree. You know, I never knew what avocados grew off. Um, no, I, I, I mean, I'd never really thought to look. Do I almost threw out the bag with the piece still in it? Oh, don't do that. They're rolling everywhere. Okay. It's the wheels, Laura, the wheels. Right, this is our first tree. It's, I'm hoping is taller than some of the other things we've already built, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so if you, this is thing over here just behind Laura's hand. Uh, it's a strawberry bush, but it kind of looks like a very small apple tree. A little bit, a very short one. All right, so that's the whoops, tree. And then under here, you have some slots where you can put your <laughs> avocados. So it's a tree with avocados ready to pick on it. I do like the avocado. Well, you just like avocados in general. But as in that little avocado mini one. I do like avocados in general. That is very cute. Comes with a little base so that if you don't have like the homestead, you can just... Oh. I was going to say you can just stand it up, but I, it, you can stand it up. I just knocked it down. We promise. We promise. So that's our tree. Um, I just wanted to show over here. So this is our corn here that we opened last video. Um, it is taller than the corn, but not by a great deal. So this is definitely not to scale if you're sort of thinking, well, you know, you'll get it to How tall scale. is an avocado tree? I, well, I, that's true. I don't actually know, but it doesn't quite look right being the tree next to the corn. So I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's, I, I may well be wrong. Although right. that said, these broccoli is quite tall compared to the corn too. So anyway, ooh, okay. Speaking of corn, <laughs> here's some corn. Oh, corn. So we won't build that one again. Because we already have corn just over here. Exactly. So a lot of these are very, very <clears throat> thin, um, which worries me because none of them feel like people. Yeah, the people are... seem to have escaped us. Yeah, there are. Oh, oh, I'm so, I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> you just found a person's, didn't you? I, I did find one of the people. So these are not quite like a uh, Lego person. You no. have a little bit more to do to put them together. We have the fruit and veg buyer. And I have the base of my truck all sort of built. Okay, <clears throat> so here we have his head and torso. And then we have 
some stickers for his little Woolworth shirt. We have the small one. Uh, stickers. There's a lot of stickers in this set, by the way. Oh. In general. And I do a terrible job of he them. He can't even dress himself right. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit dishevelled today. Okay, we have the back of his shirt. Hopefully he dresses a bit better from behind. Yeah. Uh, not, not really. Uh, the camera uh, doesn't want to look at him though, so yeah, let me. It's fix okay. It. The camera doesn't want to see the dishevelled nature go. of his shirt. We have some legs and pants, and then we have a couple of arms. I'm glad it's a couple and not either one or two men. <laughs> so they just sort of push into the slots at the side. Was he can it? bend at the waist, but the arms don't particularly move after the you attach them. Last set that Woolworth, I think the arms were pretty hard to get in. You had to sort of push fairly hard to yeah, pop them in. Yeah, there's a bit of force. Hang on, I just need to move <clears> a bit closer. I actually can't get the second arm fully in. I might have to Do you ask. need a hand? Yeah, or do you need an arm? I need an arm. Um, yeah. yeah, just one side went in fine. Uh, it was in, it just sort of need to twist. twist All those it. arms are tight. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. So yeah, don't expect to be posing their arms easily, especially if you're giving these to your kids. They might need a bit of help. And his hat. There he is. So maybe he's here inspecting and going, hmm, shall we buy these broccolis? Mm, broccolis? Broccolis? Is that the plural of broccoli? Broccoli? Bro mate, I'm not sure. All, All right. these questions today. I know. <laughs> All right, we have... Mm -hmm. The chicken and eggs. Oh, our sons will be happy about that. They've been fighting. They want us to... They want the chicken and eggs. And the coop. But we won't get those ones out because back here we already have the chicken. Oh, there he goes. And it comes with two sets of eggs. So now I've knocked the chicken down. All right. Next one... What have we got? A tomato plant. We actually have lots of those growing in our own garden. Lots of different ones too. We do. We, we grow a lot of different varieties ourselves. The atomic brads, I think we're growing. It's my favorite. Uh, brads, one. atomic grape tomatoes. That's yeah, it. They're really nice. All right. So this one has a similar part to like the avocado treetop, but obviously no, um, <laughs> no trunk. Trunk. Thank you. <laughs> They look like the tall bit. They look like strawberries you grow in there. In fact, they're the same ones as the mm, strawberries. Oddly suspicious there. Um, this is a very short tomato plant as well. Um, mm. If you haven't seen a tomato plant before, you do get bushy short ones like this. We have a lot that are like six feet tall though. Yeah, so. quite, a, quite a few different ones. Um, I've lost track of where all these are meant to go, so they're probably not to like the guide that you get with the homestead anymore. But it's just more of a you know a suggestion tomatoes. rather than you know an actual Lego set. You've got to build it exactly. Indeed. All right. Next we have oh another tree. We have an apple tree, which I've got to be honest, looks like we're growing strawberries and tomatoes because they've used the same little piece. The same mold for each one. But well no, it's, it's the same color and shape and size as the strawberries and the tomatoes. Mmm, this what, farm's getting a bit suspicious. <laughs> so what exactly are we just growing a whole bunch of strawberries on every plant? <laughs> or a whole bunch of tomatoes, whichever way you, you kind of want to look at it. So I'm just making sure I'm getting all of our <coughs> apples out. Okay, so this goes together in a similar way to the avocado tree. It has a little set of leaves. I do like that, that they've got like the little set of leaves off like an extra branch rather yeah. than just going straight up. It gives it a bit more depth. Also, yeah. as per usual in the last set, the stickers go over multiple blocks. So either if you disassemble it, you're gonna risk damaging the stickers mm -hmm. or not have to take it apart properly. Yeah, exactly. That was the same in the Bunnings block sets we reviewed a while back as well. Um, okay, these are <laughs> Slowly going on our apples. Uh-huh. Wink, wink. So this has obviously a different tree top to the avocado tree that we built. This has the same as the bush instead. It makes it look a bit taller, I think. Let's put it back there. We'll show you everything when it's on of a course. little closer at the end. My truck's trucking. Oh, it's getting closer. Hey, we have someone to drive it now too because we've got the fruit and veg behind us. My one comes with a oh, driver. It comes with a driver. Oh, even of better. Course. 
All right, our next one. Uh oh, I see a familiar hat. Hey. It's the fruit and veg buyer. But you can never have too many fruit and veg buyers. It means your farm's doing well. Uh, possibly. <laughs> well, this one's a bit chunkier. We have. Oh no, is that another apple tree? It's not an apple. Mm. I don't want no apples. Well, how about before I open all of them without you? There's still a few left. How about I grab our animal set? And open that up. I think this was the cheapest. Yeah, it was of the set. Five so or six dollars, I think. Uh, five, I think. Um, it's fairly light, and you get an assortment of small animals. It shows you on the back, so you can see why this was the cheapest. And I'm assuming there's no building because these are all just single pieces. Uh, you can actually get, as you can see, probably just in the background there, you can actually get a cow in the regular sort of blind bags. Yes, it's just at the back. You but it looks like this is the same cow, maybe in the set. Yeah. So, you get a parts list, but obviously no building instructions because they're all just single pieces. And look, there you can learn more. Alright. This is a very thick bag this is in. I have trouble getting into mine, by the way, for the uh, truck. Um, I'm, I don't think we mentioned in this video, uh, these are all made from recycled plastic. The bags are like um, recycled sort of paper so feeling you just bags. So you that in the recycling bin. And if you don't want your actual bricks anymore, you can take those into Woolworths and they have little um, bins or box things to put them in and then they go back and can be recycled again. All right. So we have our cow. Moo. Moo. Is it exactly the same? Um, I think not. I think the one from the animal pack is a little bit lighter. Is that my imagination? Uh, the, yeah, there's a slight difference. Um, it could just be manufacturing rather than different, different though. Yeah, so there is a slight difference in colour, but you know, if you didn't get the cow and you wanted to just put the cow on from this one, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be an issue. Cow. We have a cat. Oh. Meow. Meow. I can't even get this guy's shirt on. Oh, no, the cat's a little bit awkward to put on the base because it's got its tail, which is quite low to the ground. Okay, we have a chicken, which I believe is the same chicken that, that looks you can the same. get. Then we have, oh, a little calf. That's super cute. I would pat a calf if I had a chance. And it does have eyes, although they're a little bit hard to see on its face. Put that, oops, I think I've knocked. <clears throat> I've knocked a cow over. Knocked a cow over. All right, then we have, oh, pig. Pig. Oink. Oink. And a little piglet. piglet. And the piglet is in a sitting position, whereas the, I guess, mummy pig uh, is in a standing position. Just for fun, I put the Woolworth logo upside down by mistake. Oh. So that one's good. That one <laughs> oh, I don't think. Oh, Nathan. <laughs> All right. And then we have a dog. Okay. I'm assuming that Oink. there's a Kelpie that you can get in the set. I'm assuming this is very similar, but we don't have it yet, so I can't compare. No verification yet. Another chicken, so you get two in there. Do you know what's better than one chicken? Two chickens. Two chickens. And some eggs. And again, I believe they're the same coloured eggs as you get in the mystery bags. Don't worry, I'm definitely not struggling putting this label on the last crate. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so I've left some of the animals off over here. We can fix those after, but... Onwards. Upwards and onwards. What I'm assuming is the pear crate, because I have a crate with pears in it. Yes, it is. Well, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I'm assuming we've got stickers in here as well. Okay. Put so you get. The stickers. <laughs> that's da, what da, I'm da, doing. Da, 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 da. You get. Uh, oh no, no, I've dropped the sticker. I dropped my sticker too. Oh. Okay. Um, now, I learnt last time the hard way that there are two long stickers for the long sides and two short stickers. I won't make that mistake how did you make? How did you find that out? Oh, I don't know. I found out by peeling stickers. So, I was trucking on while you were opening and... You finished. I have a Woolworths farm truck, I think they call it. Farm truck, yeah. So that's quite nice. You've got two little crates there. A lot of stickers, but they look reasonable. They just go nicely. They look reasonable because you've done a good job putting them on. We have Farmer Jim Bob Joey Juju Jam. He, he doesn't have a name on the box. No, you so, can name him whatever you want to. And you can open up the top. I suppose you could sort of slot him in if you're careful. Their yeah. legs do bend. They do bend. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Does usually, the roof go back on though? I suppose if 
Uh, if no. you sat him down, maybe. Let me see. Let me see if I can do this while you show your pears. All right. So this uh, crate actually says fresh pears, so you know specifically that it's the pear crate. Whereas we've got a carrot one, which we'll show you again over the back there, and it says fresh carrots. All right. Then we have three little <coughs> pear pieces. They've got like a little leaf shape here. Yeah, that's about it for the pears. Nope. We get three of them. I got him in the truck. His hat gave me some trouble, but he's in. Yay! So there you go. That's awesome. All right, would you like to do some opening? Yes, because every last video I ended up spending the whole time building the homestead, <laughs> yes, didn't I? You did. I actually don't recall. I was feeling that well, so I was pretty quiet. So you were yapping on for quite a lot of that, Yes, I was. Poor Laura. <laughs> All right, it is... A crate? Berry crate. Oh, we don't have that one. That's one of the missing crates. So you have more apples. <coughs> Sorry, probably strawberries. Given if you it's be... berry crate. So how about... And I'm assuming blueberries? Because there is a blueberry bush that we haven't found in the set I yet. I imagine so. It doesn't specify. But I imagine anything blue that's Nick, categorized... Make sure you put those on the right way up. ...as a berry is going to be a blackberry. Correct? A blueberry. It's a blueberry. <laughs> a blueberry, Nathan. <laughs> it's a blueberry bush. Which I think looks suspiciously the same as the strawberry bush. Mm. So there you go. Same Fresh as berries. the other ones. And then you can put your not apples in there. No, definitely not apples. Yeah. Or tomatoes. I'm not sure where they go. I'm I've just been sort of plonking things down wherever we've got room, to be honest. There we go. All right, next. Well, here's another one for you. I have the potato crate. They just look like so... unripe, like apples, strawberries. Probably not quite the right shape. I think the accuracy has gone out the door there with that one. And I've got uh, fresh potatoes stickers. Potatoes. So I'm going to put those on while you open that. Boiler, mash them, stick them in a crate. Um, hmm. Carrot. Do we have a carrot? No, we don't. We don't have. We've got a carrot crate, but not actual like carrots. Carrots growing. Yeah. They're so small. We have carrots growing in the garden at the moment now as well. The multi-coloured ones. Probably almost ready to be picked, I think, some of them, judging from how big they've gotten. Possibly. So this one, you basically just... It's a fairly simple one, those carrots, I think, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 Ah, while you're doing that, I have the fresh potatoes crate with our little potatoes. Again, they're all the same shape for all the sort of... Um, well, they're not all the same shape, but... Some of them they chose to have the same shape. Uh, the carrots, nice look. I just wish the carrots were a little taller. Just a little bit, or at least have well, like something at the but top. But normally you don't see the carrots. Like they have whole carrots in the carrot crate. I'm, I'll, I'll give it a pass. You're talking about like the, the actual yeah. leaves and yeah. stems coming If I had that, I think you'd, you'd be doing well. Oh. Right, there you go. Well, that one feels small that I just handed you. I'm sorry. Oh, more eggs or something? I'm sorry if it's mixed vegetables again or vegetable mix, whatever it was called. Honey. Honey. So we have that one here, which yeah. we'll maybe show at the end up a bit closer. After we've got them all plonked down. Here's another one for you. And I have... Oh, is this something different? Oh, the trough. So our cows, cows and things will be able to have a drink. No. So we've got some, like, tap pieces here. We've got the trough piece itself. Is there a sticker that goes with it? Yes. Of course there the, is the a water, water sticker. sticker. And I have in my bag of farm bricks. What is it? Oh, the agronomist, which we had, I, I have no idea if that's how you say it. Um, we had to look that one up when we saw that in the set. Apparently they deal with like the quality of your soil and help improve it and things like that. So, so if you know more, feel free to tell us absolutely more. Absolutely necessary for a farmer, I imagine. For a successful farmer, I'm assuming. All right, so there, there. And I'm just putting the bits on Don't you hate it when you lose together. your arms? I sure do. Every morning, I swear. Alright, here is the trough with the little, like, tapping things up one end. Water down there. So I'll place it down there if you'd like so the cows can have a drink. Yeah, I can't really reach the cows. I'll leave that one to you. Alright, so just putting her vest on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So she's definitely got a different outfit to the others, which is nice. So they're yeah. all, all different. Uh, rotate it. Yeah, don't put her outfit on upside down. <laughs> there we go. And she is going to be looking at the honey going, damn. But she's meant to be looking at the soil. That's good, honey. All right. Oh, this one's a different one for us. I think this is the chicken coop. I can see 
chickens on the stickers. There's another one. Paint mm -hmm. my chicken coop. So we've got a crate, but I'm assuming it's used differently. Some eggs, this. <laughs> and then we've got chicken stickers, because of course. Yeah, imagine you get that or you can get like a carrot. I think I'd be more happy with the... Uh, the a chicken knife. coop is certainly bigger. Um, it's not like when you're purchasing something from a store though, you don't get to feel the bags to see if you've no. got big or small ones. I have some more chickens to go in your coop. I see. But we Here's don't need them. Another one. This feels like a very light one. Yeah, very you're light. knocking me while I'm putting a sticker on. Did no. somebody say sweet, sweet honey? No, not more honey. More honey. Alright, another one. We've only got two more to open. At least I've got no mixed vegetable produce or whatever. I do like about the chicken coop, the stickers are different on each side, which is really Banana nice. plant. <laughs> so, banana plant. <laughs> so, I wonder if this is going to look yeah, a little bit like the avocado plant. Possibly. So what have we got? There's no stickers. Alright. <gasps> and they're actually moulded bananas. Ooh, I do like banana plant. Alright, so there is the chicken coop. Um, very tiny chicken compared to the actual Damn, chickens. That's one big chick. <laughs> um, and again, there's sort of like empty bit. There's a little chick with some eggs on that side, just eggs on that one. And you can take the lid off if you wanted to store the eggs that came with it actually in the chicken coop. But only it seems one. I don't think you'd fit more unless um, you weren't putting more. Yeah, that's true. I don't, I don't think they'd fit that well. There's my banana tree, bush, whatever they call them. It's a very short banana one. Plant, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, but the yeah, bananas definitely look like bananas. I really like the bananas. Okay, that's good. You also get bananas in the like organic uh, crate back there. Uh, Here's our last one for this video, Nathan. Oh, my banana fell. You're welcome to open that since you had to build the truck. All right, last one. What have we got? What have we got? We have oh, haystacks. haystacks. We've actually Nine. done pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say it's nice to finish on a new one that we didn't already have rather than finishing on well we've already got that. I'm gonna assume you stack them and then you put stickers on them. I'm uh, yep I'm just having a look at uh, the little checklist that you get when you buy the homestead pack to see how many we might be missing. I think we're missing the farmer. Yeah, it's a bit Which of a problem. Which is, is, you know, a bit sad. So, no farmer for this farm. Uh, I think this is a beekeeper from memory. So, we haven't found that one. There's a scarecrow, a kelpie, a kookaburra. Uh, oh, we haven't got this, like, mix of dairy. There's, like, wheat. I think bread. That one might be. Are we missing the odd bunch? Craig? No, I thought oh. we got the odd bunch. No, oh, no, there's no odd bunches We were, we're back talking there. with our kids and they wanted the odd bunch if we got it. I yeah, think. I think so. Uh, missing the blueberry bush. Maybe, is this lettuce or something like Cabbage that? Cabbage or think. lettuce. Yep. Uh, oh, we don't have the wheat plant. There's another tree. I don't know what, maybe like an orange tree or something. I can't quite tell. Oh, we don't have the fence. <laughs> we can't, the fence does come with the, um, the homestead. That's true. Uh, and the drone. So not too many after only two openings, but we say that and then we'll do our next opening and find nothing that we need probably. Look, it's hay, it's stacked. It's that's, a haystack. That's a lot of stickers though. Uh, that is uh, eight stickers, yes. Mm, a lot of stickers on one small thing. Um, now, Nathan last time put one of the chickens on the roof, so how about we go ahead and put the chickens back up there because why not? Since they don't all fit in the coop. The coop's too small for them. Yes it is. And then I guess we should put these somewhere so they're not... Oh dear. They do go on but they're a little bit <laughs> fiddly. Um, so they're not all running away. So well, mostly you can see Nathan's hand there at the moment. But this is our farm so far. It's not looking too bad I don't think. How about we put the... Yeah it makes sense. There's there. now we eggs have a, everywhere. We have a lot of chickens and eggs now with that animal pack as well as having opened one of them. So I think some of these are a bit wonky too. That chicken coop's not on the base. Hmm. So there you go. That. It's looking yeah. like a very busy crowded farm already. And we're not finished. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yes, if you didn't see, you, there's a sort of yeah. look inside the homestead there. And that were all our crates on the other side, maybe ready to be picked up. I don't know. 
All right. This isn't our last opening. That isn't. We haven't completed the set yet. <laughs> so we've got to keep trying. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments section down below how you're going with your collection. Maybe you finished already. Maybe you just got really lucky. I don't know. Which we've had in the past with certain other sets, but... Mm. Mm. Not this one so far. Not this one. <laughs> Not too bad, though. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have a new video every single week. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.